How you going? It's Richard from Off-Road Touring Life and right now myself and Maisie are standing in the Grampians National Park so something a little bit different for us, we've headed out west, we've got a few days to go out exploring some areas we haven't been here for about oh, 10 years or so we're right at the start of Tower Hill Walk, we're not sure how far it is but we're about to head up, you can see the hill up there behind us there we just did a four drive track coming in got a new set of tyres on the patrol as well so they've worked out really well so off we go, we'll go out there and check out these views So we're all set up at camp here now, so we finished our walk. Ended up being about oh, a bit over a kilometre up and back down there. But it was very overgrown. It's, we haven't been able to find it marked anywhere on any of the maps we grabbed from the information centre on the way through. So we followed the track back down. We just pulled into one of these bush campsites here. So we've got all set up here. We've got the couple of swags here under the awning. Tonight will be uh, chicken burgers for dinner. 20 past six now. The sun's just over there. All the birds are fluttering around behind us. It's actually a really cool camp spot this. There's no amenities here at all, it's just a purely a bush site so they've got to be self-sufficient. There is a creek just probably about 30 metres just down behind us there but it's not much more than the trickle at the moment. It's getting towards the end of January now as well. So tomorrow we've got a few walks planned. We've sussed out what we want to do for the day so we'll show you what there is to do around the Grampians area. It's about quarter to eight on Monday morning now, so we're just about to pop the coffee on, have a cuppa, get packed up, head off for a walk. Now, what we're going to do is head out to the Pinnacles this morning. So this morning, the car park for the Pinnacles walk isn't all that far away from where we are now. So we're going to head back down to there. But looking around this morning, there's a bit of cloud sitting on the nearby hills around us. So we're not sure what sort of view we're going to get up from up there. And the drizzle is slowly starting to come in, but that's all right. We're all ready for that. Um, so yeah, get that cup going, head off, cruise up there for a walk. Looking at doing the walk, it starts off pretty cruisy, climbs upstairs for a few hundred metres or rock formations, and now we're just heading along a sandy section of track here. We've crossed over the other side of the ridge, and there's winds picked up a bit on this side, but still cruising along. Good weather still. I know I keep saying about the weather, but it looks like it's changing all the time at the minute. But yeah, continuing on.
down below. Pretty cruisy walk up. How good is it? Good. Like it? Yeah. All right. Bit breezy though. Took the hat off so I don't lose it over the edge. So we're on our way back down from the Pinnacles now. This section here looks like a movie set. Actually looks like the sand's been bored in here. Some cool little rock steps heading back out through the trees. When you're out of that breeze, it's quite a warm day today. So we just dropped back down into Hall's Gap before, had some lunch down there, and now we're back up at the balconies. So that's saying it's a 1k walk in, so I'm guessing it's 2k's return. We'll find out when we get in there, but the weather's cleared right up. There's not many people at this um, this walk where we got back from the Pinnacles before. We were the second or third car in the car park this morning. When we got back, there's at least 35 in there. So just I recommend if you're doing that walk, maybe get there nice and early, then you get that spot up to the top with only a few people, particularly in the peak seasons. The um, balconies look at now, 760 metres above sea level. Another breathtaking spot in the Grampians. Sorry if that wind's affecting it, but um, I can't control that. driven down into Mackenzie Falls, one of the more popular walks and waterfalls in the Grampian area, Grampians area. It's all sealed roads in so there's no point even filming anything coming in but yeah we'll head down there check it out. Sun's out now it's perfect. Bit of a breeze to keep the heat at bay and off we go. Left Mackenzie Falls now, we're just making our way down along the side of the river here to um, Fish Falls, I think it was called. So it's a further 1.4 k's down from Mackenzie Falls. It was quite busy up there. So we'll go down here, check these out. It's 3 o'clock in the Arvo, so we'll just pop down, check it out, then we're gonna go find ourselves a camp for the night. But yeah, pretty cool walk along here. Interesting to see how the falls are. Here we are, fish fall. Comes down from right up there behind me there. Let's see how rough and jagged these rocks here. The walk in, not too bad. Took us about 15, 20 minutes or so. But we're here now. Gonna shoot down, have a quick look at another section before we make our way back out. So 
Fish Falls is definitely worth a walk down. You can even come down and bring a towel with you. Continue past the falls. And there's a good little swimming spot there. So something else to keep in mind, while we're walking, we're looking down all the time. So just back there, just next to one of the raised walkways above a, um, a wet area, we just saw a snake down there. So yeah, just keep your eyes peeled. Seen heaps of little lizards and skinks and stuff, but that's the first snake we've seen for this trip. But I've seen about seven or eight snakes this year and all our weekends away this summer. But yeah, just something to keep in mind. And if you can hear that noise, this is what it is. So how is this for a cracking camp spot? So we've actually turned off the main uh, road out of the Grampians, Mount Victory Road. Followed our noses a bit, found this camp here. It's on the side of Wallaby Rocks 4 drive track. So you can see over down behind me there, that's where the um, sandy track come in. It's a bit of an uneven site, but that's all good because we have these absolutely spectacular views over behind us here. So we'll have the sun setting over one way. If the sun sets as good as what we saw last night, tonight will be something awesome as well. So we've got the solar panel out, the swags are set up. Maisie's just kicking back there. All up today we did just over 10 k's of walking and all the stuff we've went and seen. Now this video obviously we haven't done a heap of four wheel driving in it. We're just more coming out exploring the Grampians. There is four wheel driving out here. We did do a bit yesterday. We've done a little bit today just coming into here and a few other tracks but we didn't really film a lot of it we just heard this spots here pretty popular and we wanted to get a cool campsite so already it's after six o'clock got this campsite to ourselves we're about to cook up some dinner table extension here. I have done a video on it previously. I know I've mentioned it in my last video but this has been so handy even for this trip. Pop the stove on. Food preparation happens there. Obviously fridge. We've got all our drawers set up there as well so loving this. I'll um, pop a link down below to how I've done, done this. Cost me next to nothing to build this thing and it's worth you know weighs nothing worth its weight in gold. So we're now walking into Burong Falls, 350 metre walk down. Not sure how popular it is, but there was a campsite just up near the trailhead of this walk. All right, here's Burong Falls, or should we call it Burong Trickle? It's not much more of a trickle going over the rocks down there behind us. As soon as we walk down, we just thought of somewhere in the Kimberley, the way these rock formations here, we've done a few, quite a few waterfalls up around there, but yeah, not much more than a trickle here, but you know, the walk down was pretty straightforward as well. Do watch your step though, because this is actually right on the edge of a cliff thing here. So just be careful with that. All right.
So it's about 8.35 now. So our last night in the Grampians. Got the sun setting over there behind us. Maisie's just done a 10k run up and down the road out here. Obviously all the bush walking wasn't enough for her. I just thought I'd share this awesome sunset with you. All the birds are still going off. It's starting to quieten down a bit now, but you can see the sun up behind us there's Tower Hill. So there's been um, the sun bouncing off that this evening as well. So let's hope we've got a still night tonight, unlike last night where we had wind and rain. Right, so we'll just wrap up this trip here. We're just coming back down Mount William now. What an absolutely awesome four days we just spent in the Grampians National Park. Some sensational campsites, awesome views, walks, waterfalls. This area really has a whole lot. So we thought we'd go somewhere a bit different. Not a lot of four-wheel driving or anything in this one, just a lot of dirt forestry roads, but we just come here to do all the key features and all the good sites that the area has to offer. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was good. So me and Maisie have had an absolute ball. We're heading off from here. We're going to make our way down towards the Great Ocean Road now. So thanks heaps for watching. If you've liked what you've seen, you know the drill. Hit subscribe. Give us a big thumbs up. Hit that notification bell also so you know when the next video is out. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Cheers.